so good afternoon so today we want to start the air quality management we're talking about so we have discussed if you remember in the last few lectures of air air pollution we have discussed about the various aspect of our, our uh, air pollution that is what are the sources you know what are uh, the priority pollutants what are the components okay so do you have to measure the concentration first of you must be knowing okay, what is the source how it is being transported how it is being affected at uh, at particular receptor level so you need to know all these parameters first before actually going into the air quality management aqm is the air quality management <clears throat> so aqm is basically you're talking about at source transportation and receptor so you don't want to do some remedies at receptor level because here you are being exposed what you can do either you can do at source that's the best method or you can do a some at a level where it is being transported when already damage has been done then you can well estimate that what kind of damage it can do what is the time span what is the long term effect what are the short term effects all these things now you can really judge from these kind of activities <clears throat> so once you're talking about source level then you must about learn about control equipment control equipment called apcd air pollution control devices which we will be discussing in detail in today's lecture okay then when you're talking about source you can go for process modification modify the machine modify the engine you know when once you modify all these kind of things then no doubt you are working at source emission will be less always then can you go for fuel modifications again if you are working on fuel and there are so many you know organizations they are working on fuel working on fuel or uh, this particular modifications can you go for a high calorific value fuel number one can you go for a, a low sulfur fuel can you low, go for a fuels which are easily volatilized at low temperature <clears throat> so these are the few things which you need to cover at source so once the damage has been done and suppose you are not aware that damage has been done then what you can do you can do the bottling this is called modeling with Modeling means you can predict the long term and short term effects. So I can predict like what's the pollution level is here, like today it's happening and it has already happened. Now, what are the long term effects or the short term effects? Is after how many days, after how many weeks, how many months is going to affect at which particular level? Kis reaction mein kis bande ko ko effect karega? Okay. Now, gets to the air pollution control devices, controls of air pollutants. Okay. So also, going to discuss about all these kind of things you need to discuss about mechanics involved kya abhi batane wala hai time aapko discuss kar lena cheez ke liye theek hai so you have two type of pollutants main bata ba chuka aapko ek hote particulate ek hote gases are so whenever we are dealing with the air pollution we are talking about two types of pollutants particulate and gases pollutant and for particulate pollutants we want to have removal of these kind of pollutants which we will be discussing now now no doubt from today's lecture onwards you have these mechanisms involved depending upon particle size all kind of thing it can be gravity settling it can be centrifugal it can be electrostatic it can be filtration it can be scrubbing what are all these just wait for some time one or two lectures so i'm going to cover all these kind of things and gases pollutants Once you want to remove gases pollutant, they cannot be removed by gravity. They cannot be removed by centrifugal. So they are going to remove either absorption or adsorption or combustion or masking. Masking is you reduce the background concentration of one particular pollutant by exposing it to other. So it can mask the first one. Okay. So air pollution control devices, system and devices. So now I am going to start with APCD. <clears throat> APCD is the air pollution control devices, and this are particularly applicable for particulate control mind it so what's our i am discussing right now okay and these are applicable for particulate control this means when your air or uh, emissions they contain contain a good amount of particular pollutant you know particular pollutant na? pm 10 pm 2.5 these are called particulate pollutants so once you want to get rid of these kind of pollutants you need first of all before actually going you know you are the persons from mechanical engineers okay like you want to have some machine for anything for your industry but before purchasing a machine before getting a detail of what kind of machine you want to have you need to 
consider certain factors first. What are those factors? For what purpose I'm taking the machine? And what should be the load what the machine is taking? So what is my load capacity? My load capacity means I want to work on this range, this load. So I want to work on this size. I have this much of energy usage. Now all these factors you need to take into consideration. So once you want to decide APCD, air pressure control devices, you need to consider certain factors. These are what are the particular concentration you want to handle? What a particular size you want to handle? What is the volume? What is the composition? What is the moisture content? All these parameters are going to affect the selection of APCD. You can't randomly close your eyes and say, I want this APCD, which I am discussing right now, no doubt in the coming slides. So you have to think twice, what are your requirements? Okay. So whenever in, at your home, you buy any kind of, you know, machine or utensil or, you know, you know any kind of thing, you just see your requirements first. What are my requirements? Okay. <clears throat> For example, AC. AC जब देने जाते हैं तो सबसे पहले बंदा यही पूछता है सर कितने टन का चाहिए फिर पूछता है सर आपके घर के जो जहां पे लगाना है स्पेस कितना है ठीक है तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू कंसीडर सर्टेन फैक्टर्स बिफोर एक्चुअली गोइंग टू डिटेल और डिजाइनिंग ऑफ समथिंग सो दिस इज समथिंग आई एम डिस्कसिंग ओवर हियर कि व्हाइल बिफोर एक्चुअली गोइंग फॉर एपीसीडीज एयर प्रेशर कंट्रोल डिवाइसेस इन डिजाइन कंस्ट्रक्शन डिटेल बट वी नो व्हाई वी नीड दिस एपीसीडी the main factors which are what kind of particular matter you are handling what is the size what is concentration and in the volume they are in gases what volume you are handling for higher volume apcd may be different maybe lower volume it can be different okay <coughs> so these <coughs> are the certain factors <coughs> so once you have selected this you must know the design considerations what are design considerations Cons considerations so sorry so these are efficiency pressure drop and cost efficiency means you know it is efficient in removing 99 98 95 percent of the particular matter for which you are you know choosing this <clears throat> and what is the pressure drop pressure drop means delta p p1 minus p2 so if the pressure drop is very high you know you need to spend more energy to do a required separation no doubt then cost by default comes into picture always now first of all what i am discussing right now with you is the first apcd air pollution control devices air pollution control device is gravity setting chambers so what are gravity setting chambers very simple machine as the name indicates here the particulates are bigger in size the dust particle size is greater than 50 micrometer. So if it's greater than 50 micrometer, they can settle under gravity, no doubt. I'm <clears> going <throat> <clears throat> just wait. Go. So they, these gravity setting chambers, they can operate till 1000 degrees centigrade. This means your gases, the, uh, the gases which are coming out from, uh, you know, like boiler house, these kind of emissions which have a high temperature. So immediately you can use gravity setting chamber because gravity setting chamber, they can work till 1000 degrees centigrade very easily. So these are the applications. See this pre-clearance for moving dust particles in grinding and cement particles, rime cleans, grain. Well, these are huge applications. Like cement and clean industry, you have every time the dust particles settled in the air because the cement industry, yes or not? Rock crush industry, thermal coal dryers, so many industries are there which are into this business of this thing, handling of small particles. So in lieu of that, they generate a very fine particles in air that is particular matter, that particular matter need to remove. If the particle size is 50 micrometer more, micrometer more, then you can reasonably use gravity setting chamber. <coughs> and see this, remember this, only force is gravitational. The only gas that is being, the gas velocity that is reduced is the horizontal, this one. Okay, so typical horizontal velocity is 0 0.3 to 3 meter per second. And how it looks like? It's like this. See this. <laughs> what is actually happen <clears throat> happening? It's called expansion chamber. Why it's called expansion chamber? Just wait for a few seconds, I'm going to tell you. So this dust laden gas is coming in and clean gas is going out and the particles are separated with the help of gravity. You know what is happening? The dust laden gas means the particles which are coming here is greater than 50 micrometers force. 
so once they come into the chamber as soon as they enter this chamber you must have read continued equation a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 <clears throat> now if the area increases then velocity decreases you know very well area increases velocity decreases that is as you call expansion is going on moment it is expanded into a larger area this velocity decreases the velocity decreases no doubt the heavy particles keep on settling 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 the heavy particles keep on <coughs> settling and no doubt very fine particles which on which the gravitational force is least they pass through the outlet and this gas is out but you have majority of the dust collected over here okay so this is the gravitational chamber so moment gas enters with a uh, particular pollutants it experience uh, experiences a sudden expansion in area sudden expansion in area will lead to reduction in velocity so once the reduction in velocity is there the particles heavy particles they keep on settling under gravity so once it transfers a multi transfer this reaction from here to outlet a reasonable amount of particles are being removed <clears throat> now see this this is a further extension of a gravity accepting chamber bachi see this what is there what is there <clears throat> now it is like see this if i see this it is a horizontal type you need a huge area in the industry to install these kind of gravity sensing chambers once you say this this is a multiple tree this requires less area as compared to first but when you go to the industry now this things will become more clear when you go to the industry when you go to the industry uh, they will really let you know what they want okay they want a perfect solution with minimum requirements with minimum cost involved with minimum space involved you can't directly say them sir i can remove your problem i can solve this your problem i need 100 by 100 meter square force they say okay bye tata we don't no want to have this kind of solution where you have you know <clears throat> a huge space is involved <clears throat> the best answer to this is the howard settling chamber multiple tray if you see the difference as compared to first it is vertical so how it is being executed you have a vertical tray with multiple trays you see first tray second tray a third tray and these trays are reasonably separated from each other the gap between the these plates is reasonably good so that the pre settled particles may not get disturbed hoga kya agar dono plate ke bich distance kam hoga bachche dono plates ke bich distance kam hai ye dekho ja distance kam hai to air bar bar andar aa rahi hai <coughs> jab air bar bar andar aa rahi hai to air will resettle the particles which are already settled in these plates okay so what is happening the dust laden gas is coming in it is distributed through the through this plates so one plot two three so once it transfers direction from this place to this place most of the particles are settled and clear gas that's clear means or i'm saying clear clear means away away from these kind of heavy contaminants and now goes out and dust is collected from the bottom <clears throat> and it's called mostly agaga word dust cake <laughs> okay dust cake now see the third option in gravity sending chamber no i have explained you two things okay first one gravity sending chamber horizontal type gravity sending chamber vertical type both had advantages and drawbacks now i am have a option where like industry says okay we don't want the vertical chamber we want the horizontal chamber only okay because in the horizontal we have good separation and industry says we need horizontal but we don't have a space now challenge is on your shoulders industry says we are horizontal we don't have a space we want good separation design it so it is now uh, how the engineers work 
how engineers work. Now they have designed a baffle chamber. You know what is baffle? See, this is baffle. What I'm showing over here. See, this is a front view, cross section view. Okay, this is cross section view, beta. See, air is coming in the dust and particles and going out. Green air is going out. Baffle means baffle coming in, beta. Baffle is going to increase the retention time. और जितना रिटेंशन टाइम ज्यादा इंक्रीज होगा किसका एयर का सिस्टम के बीच में सेपरेशन ज्यादा होगी बेटा ये आप खुद भी मानते हो ओके इज इट ओके सो वट आई एम सेइंग बच्चे के सी इज हॉरिजॉन्टल यू हैव बैफल नाउ एयर कम्स लाइक दिस एंड फ्लो लाइक दिस सी इट विल फ्लो लाइक दिस ओनली इंस्टेड ऑफ स्ट्रेटली गोइंग आउट लाइक इन फर्स्ट केस Air is coming in, going out straight. But here, instead of going straight, it's going in zigzag manner, like this, like this, like this, like this. See this. And what is happening now? During a transverse its motion to zigzag pattern, like this way, no doubt your separation will be very good because retention time is very high. Moreover, baffles will keep as obstruction to the flow. ठीक है एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ आपको फिर आगे मुंह पर जाऊंगा बेटा उससे क्या सेपरेशन होगी घर में आपने जब भी पानी बॉयल वेन आर गोइंग टू द बॉइलिंग वाटर फॉर मेकिंग टी यू मेक द वाटर हॉट बॉइलिंग ओके तो जैसे ही वो बॉयल हो रहा होता है बेटा आप उसमें ऑब्जर्व करना कि उसमें से स्टीम निकल रही होती है ओके बट क्या पता आपको पता है कि स्टीम अपने साथ वाटर के फाइन ड्रॉपलेट भी लेके जाती है तो उसको करने के लिए मैं क्या करता हूँ कुछ भी मत करो कुछ मेहनत करो आप देखो जब बॉयल हो रहा है तो जहाँ स्टीम निकल रही है पैन में पैन के बीच में से ऊपर थोड़ा ऊपर करके अपना हाथ रखो उसके ऊपर हाथ रखने पर तो क्या होगा ध्यान से देखना सारे ड्रॉप वाटर ड्रॉपलेट जो हैं वो आपके हाथ पर लग जाएंगे और स्टीम क्लीन स्टीम जो है जो आपके से निकल रही है वो सारी बाहर निकल जाएगी and this is the funda what i'm using this baffle this baffle is going to put obstruction to the in inlet flow and koi bhi particle aayega jisko remove karna hai is going to strike the baffle gets removed strike the baffle gets removed see this okay so this is a baffle chamber where industry demands both like i want to have a uh, horizontal also but you know so when she came back you know Is that okay, everybody? <clears throat> Now, cyclones, brother. If you have understood this, this thing, representing chambers, okay. Now, I should move to a second A P C D. That is A P uh, A. P C D air pressure control device cyclone. Now see this. <clears throat> Now the particles. If you see, if see, uh, some particles are coming out in in each and every figure. This this thing I'm showing some fine particles are coming out. And these fine particles are those which are not being easily removed by these gravity centric chambers because we are using gravity force and the small particles. due to the less weight they exert a very less gravity gravitational forces so they keep on moving out along with the clean air so for moving this kind of particles somewhere this kind of particles we can use cyclone you know what is cyclone cyclone is when you want to provide a centrifugal force to some particular medium and how the centrifugal force is provided you need to have certain blower you need an energy huge energy is consumed Okay, so what is actually that I want to show you, no doubt, is suspended gas particle mixture. You know, you know what is suspended gas particle mixture because what sort of gas is coming in, what we are tackling with, what to talk talk to about industry, all kind of stuff. Now, when the air comes in, that air comes in, we call it a air gas particle mixture. Why? Because it contains fine particle at also, PM ten, PM two point five. Now suspended gas particle mixture. Is fed directly to the inlet of inlet at the high high velocity and pressure. Okay, so see this is the thing I am going to show you. 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 I
ये आपका चैम्बर है ये आपकी इनलेट है द वेस्ट फ्रॉम विच दॉल्ट पार्टिकल रिमूव इज एंटर एट दिस पर्टिकुलर सर्फेस प्रेजेंशली प्रेजेंशली क्या होता है बिल्कुल टेंशन है उसके so once it is being fed essentially with a high pressure high velocity once it comes in it will convert into a this motion so this creates a spiral flow within this is this is spiral flow kiske beech mein within the suspended part, uh, particle mixture and now you know what sort of particles are there in the gas stream as per law they will be striking the walls as per centrifugal force they exert so once they strike the walls they slide down and get collected at the bottom see this <laughs> see this what i explained to you dirty gas in is fed tangentially to the see this this is a uh, cylinder this is tangent sorry fed tangentially to the this system called cyclone so movement it comes in very high velocity high pressure see this okay so movement gas enters movement dirty gas enters <clears throat> dirty gas enters it it is fed directly to the system so once it enter with high pressure and high velocity it comes to spur spiral motion inside swirl motion inside the particles present in this particular swirl motion particular matter they will exert a centrifugal force they strike the walls once they strike the walls they strike the walls it gets collected okay and the clean gas comes from the top how because movement gas is moving like this see this there will be two vortex form outer vortex and inner vortex this is the inner vortex the inner vortex is for clean air and outer vortex is for dirty air see once the air reaches here it is almost getting rid of the pollutants which are present in the air so air becomes lighter When the air becomes lighter, can't flow away. It is here, up, always up. So it will become a inner vortex goes out. Okay. <clears throat> I hope you might have understood what I am going to say. What is the design? What is the all these kind of stuff? Please, all of you, if you have a doubt, you can ask me. Okay. So this is a cyclone separator. You know, this is better, always better than uh, suspended. In what sense? Removal number one, number two. So you have to, <clears throat> okay? Then you have to take care of these kind of things. So this is cyclone separator, which generally used. Is it okay? So these are the some of the properties of the cyclone. You can just go through. So it can be of both reverse flow. I want to show you. See this types of design. It can be of reverse flow and straight through. Okay. <clears throat> I want to show you flue gas entry points. It can be tangential. It can be scroll. It can be swirl lane. I want to show you in the next slide. No doubt. What is that? You can see and uh, judge is better. Gas flow rate. It can handle a flow rate fifty to five fifty thousand meter cube per hour. Okay. Pressure drop is this. That is delta P. You are talking about temperature. Then dust particle. It's near about fifty micrometer. Okay, the dust concentration is this. But no doubt, cyclone is very mobile, uh, effective in moving the particles. But it's not very efficient for moving a part size less than ten micrometer. Okay, <clears throat> so this is tangential. See this. I just I told you tangential, outer loop. In a loop out, then scroll and swirl vein. See this. We have a shaft with the swirl veins over there. ये vein है बेटा swirl type. तो जैसी gas आएगी वो जाएगा अंदर जाएगी ऐसे देख ऐसे जाएगी और घूमेगी ऐसे. वो ही हम चाह रहे हैं. जैसी घूमेगी centrifugal force लगेगा उस चीज के लिए. ठीक है जी. So this this is how industrial cyclone separator separators look alike. so they can be as high as 10 meters they can be as high as 15 meters they can as high as 20 meters depending on application depending on the volume of the gas you are handling depend depends on the separation you are going to do 
So same thing I'm showing over here. Air and powder comes in, okay. Once it comes in, it is fed tangentially with high pressure, high velocity. Once it's fed tangentially with high pressure, high velocity, it comes to a swirl motion like see this. But air is showing, okay. Outer arrows. So when once in the swirl motion inside the cyclone, the particles which are present, they will exert the centrifugal force. They strike the walls, see this, they strike the walls and get removed from the water. And light air, once it's almost clear air, almost clear air, I can say, is taken from the inner vortex to the top and goes out. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the overall picture we're talking about. Cycle separator. <clears throat> so these are the industrial applications, beta. Just go through it very fast. <clears throat> So used in many applications for pre-cleaning of before us sending a part of respirator filters. I'm going to show you no doubt in the next slides. Mm -hmm. Recovery and cycling of solid particles, product and catalyst. So mass, so many industries. Now, for example, let's talk about the next slide. Let's talk about the next slide. You must have seen uh, dry milk, everyday. Ka. Everyday ka dry milk. When dry milk is made, it is removed from the moisture. Okay, what is the moisture? What do we do? Dry powder ko conveyor belt mein rakhte hain, and you pass the air, hot air in that chamber. When you pass the hot air in the chamber, it, the hot air is going to take all the moisture from the this milk, skimmed milk. Now, by default, once the air is coming in, it is going to take milk particles along with him. Udega na, but milk ke particles jo apke hain, dry milk hain. Then all come, comes into air. So, whatever air is collected from here, we put it in the cycle separator. Ke Why? Because the product from the cycle will not be wasted. It is a very big product that we are using. Okay? <coughs> so, is that okay, everybody? Done. So today I have some work, I have attended meeting, so I'm winding up over here. If you have doubt, you can ask me. So uh, it's near about 2.25. So I'm winding up over here, uh, you know, 15 minutes before. So I have some work over here. So you can, you know, discuss with me if you have any doubt. <clears throat>